The maidens that I've rescued on the internet, uh, meanwhile, the maidens that rewarded me with ass. Yeah, just keep on trying, man. Last I checked, the definition of insanity is definitely not doing the same shit and expecting a new result. <laughs> yeah, welcome to r slash nice guys. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. No, this is your last chance to come out with me. Alright, have a great night, love. Hey, oi, do you wanna grab a drink? Boop, boop. Hey. Dude really out here so bad at reading a room that he's not able to understand what's going on, even if you were to make the captions light up like a Las Vegas neon sign. Shit, dude. Just a little bit of a pro tip. If you are these many of responses in and she has not gotten back to you yet, maybe move on. That's it? Blank, you didn't store me. Yeah, we didn't meet yet. Lame. Oof. Yeah, man. Dang. Yeah, until we meet if we hit it off. Then I'll save you. Nah, I'm more than a number. Are you seriously upset? <laughs> LOL. We met with names on a dating site. Please don't gaslight me. Ah, jeez. I'm not upset. I'm speaking to you about my value. Are you serious right now? See? This is the problem with you women. A man can't even tell her how he feels without getting some bad response like this. Okay, now you can lose my number, and I'm glad you didn't save me, because it's not worth my time. Take care, I was completely polite, and you still are not understanding. I'm more than a number, I don't care what your reasoning is, it bothers me that I'm a phone number after talking. Bottom line, if you can't handle that, then try being more than a cold-hearted animal about it, and actually hear the meaning behind my value. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't save numbers until I've met someone. I don't care. Okay, dude. Peace. You don't be sorry. Your ignorance was accident. Okay. Dang. <laughs> LOL, that escalated quickly. Go disrespect somebody else. And when they tell you that you're disrespected them, learn how to listen and become compassionate like a real woman does. And yeah, it did. <laughs> LOL. Don't call me a dude, chick. Okie dokie, dingus. Is that a better D word to call you, or how about the other one? Dumbass. Hi there. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like that word, but here's the thing, it's either you don't have somebody in your contact list just taking them space, or usually what I do for my scenario is if I don't want to talk to somebody, I do still save their number, but I list a little name tag or something next to their name that says do not respond, because maybe there's a reason I don't want to talk to you, maybe that could be the case, maybe it's Maybelline, I don't freaking know. All I know is there are people I very much don't want to talk to, and I want to know for sure if they are trying to get in contact with me, so I know for a fact to avoid them with like the plague if you have it planned out say so because on my end you ask what do you want to do or you just try to get me over to your house for massages i ask if you want to hang out and do something if you at no then it's no yes i've asked for you to come over too and fine a wednesday or thursday walk in woodward yes Next weekend, it's supposed to rain, so can't really walk then. Yeah, I work Wednesday through Sunday. Tuesday then? It's not supposed to rain Tuesday. And I get you don't want to come over for a massage right now. I only offer them in case you want one. When I offer, you usually seem stressed in massages or had a really long day, so I was just trying to be nice, but I understand that I cook them off like lewd. So, sorry. I have to decline. This is something I'd rather not venture in. I can only see us as something friendly. Okay, I'll stop trying then. I told me you wanted a drink, so I bought wine. <laughs> LMAO. Wasted my money and time. I'm honestly, that's rude. You basically played me for no reason and led me on. This generation of women is freaking pathetic. Honestly, can't say what they want, can't be honest and straightforward. It is freaking ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Grow up. Hello, okay? Because I changed my mind? OMG, <laughs> you're a nice guy. Well, what a bad clunk of a person you turned out to be. You couldn't have just been honest with me. Just lie to my face and make the free lunch. And no wonder you had a kid on your own. You probably couldn't pay someone to pump one in you. Good riddance. What? You are a very sick person who needs help. I hope you get it. When you read a text before falling asleep and forget to respond, then, well, apparently the trash gonna take itself out. Don't you just gotta like it how some of the problems in your life just happen to solve themselves? Like, you happen to miss them, like you went to the movies and you had your phone on silent and everything, and now all of a sudden somebody shows their true faces and, you know, just not realizing that those were false intentions at the beginning. No! T totally, they were putting on a mask and that movie kinda saved your butt. Okay, sound. It's you. Your loss anyways. You genuinely lost out on a good guy with a good heart over a minor disagreement. But it doesn't surprise me. We chase what is familiar to us. So good luck with a guy who doesn't understand your mental health issues and actually does take advantage of you. At least the turmoil will make you feel alive. But then again, the cycle will keep repeating of you getting redacted. You will realize one day. Good luck. Yeah, you seem like that good guy who's actually quite bitter when there's any sense of rejection. You don't seem to understand either, and you're not helping yourself here with that reply. Nice of you to make a completely unwelcome comment on my likeliness to be redacted, though, so thanks for that, smiley face. You don't know anything about me or my life, so stop trying to make out like you know me better than I know myself. Good luck to you too. Oh, there would definitely be no rejection here, darling. I'm way too good for you, uh, but the only person who would have gotten rejected is you, which is why you flaked last minute, because subconsciously, you know I'm too good for you, and you feared rejection. But keep telling yourself a BS story if that helps you sleep at night. <laughs> for some context, we had been chatting to this person for a couple of weeks and bonded over the fact that we both study psychology and decided to arrange a date. They became extremely pushy to try and get me to go to their place for the date and made a load of comments suggesting that they were expecting something lewd from the date and did not like the fact that I did not want this and didn't want the same thing. After deciding to call off the date and explaining that I didn't feel comfortable with his intentions, this was the response that I had gotten. Next comes a self-help book that teaches you how to kill mockingbirds. Last year, I went on a date with a dude, and when I told him I was reading Animal Farm again, he laughed obnoxiously for an entire minute and said I was too old to be reading children's books. I think about that a lot. Worst is that she probably sucked him and let him do that with her. And us nice guys, not hurting women's feelings, got rejections. Cruel world! Meanwhile, the person that wrote this comment had to look up the fact that, you know, that Animal Farm book. Not exactly a kids-friendly kind of book and everything. Also, a little bit of a PSA, if you ever see a book or a movie called Watership Down with cute little bunnies on the front, um... It's not, it's one of those movies also. It's one of those stories. Just heads up. People that think that animation means kid stuff, uh, y'all are as dumb as a sack of rocks. I am a cautious person. Yeah, sure. And, uh, I get bored very easy. All that IDHD. You gotta keep me stimulated with your question asking until you're comfortable enough to give me your number and kick it. Tell me that just makes me feel like you're going to get bored quickly in Ghost. I, uh, I don't find you boring, but that could 100% happen. You're welcome for my honesty, and that's why I said blow me up with questions, try and annoy me. I'll respond every time. I'm not looking to get ghosted. I 
was looking to be a pen pal, possibly totally and completely wasting my time because we may or may not vibe in real time. Honestly, just from the past few messages, you sound like a prick. You're welcome for my honesty. I think you should get past your fear of being ghosted and pay attention to what I was telling you. That I'm interested in talking all the time until you are comfortable, but you focusing on the wrong thing. I'm not afraid of that. I'm afraid of getting stuck in a conversation or even a conversation with someone who's a total a-hole. I'm done here. Bye! But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye